Listen, I know a lot of people are worried about what Windows 11 will do to their streaming PCs. And specifically, one of the areas that they're worried about is audio. So what I want to do is I want to go through three things that you need to know about Windows 11 audio before you decide to upgrade your streaming PC. But before we do that, I want to thank today's video sponsor, and that is Own.TV. Own.TV provides overlays, alerts, panels, and more to level up your live stream and give it the custom look you strive for. With hundreds of options, you can find a look that matches your style and enhances your viewer experience, like one of my favorites, the Modern Series Stream Package. Each package provides scene overlays and modular assets that you can add or remove as needed to customize for your own custom look. And they're fully integrated with Stream Elements, Stream Labs, and all the major streaming platforms. Click on the affiliate links below and save 50% by using code TFS at checkout. Out. Again, thanks own.tv for supporting this video. Again, look, the links down below do give me a little bit of a kickback. So that would be greatly appreciated if you could support the channel in that way. Another way you can support the channel is by subscribing to the channel. So hit the bell for notifications. You'll know when I have a video goes live, hit that subscribe button. And I do have some tutorials that will be coming out very soon, covering some of the features that own.tv and own.pro offer you specifically. Now, let's go ahead and get into the video. The first thing I wanna show you is Windows 11 and the main UI that they use for audio because it's quite a bit different than Windows 10. So the easiest way to bring up the main UI for the audio for Windows 11 is to click on the speaker in the lower right hand corner here and go to sound settings. And then this will bring up the main UI. It's quite a bit different from Windows 10, as you can see. Uh, you do have the option to select any of your playback devices that Windows detects here. I could choose either speakers or my capture card. Uh, you can also pair new devices on the front here. You can control volume. You can do mono audio. And then, of course, you have the same options here for your inputs, and these would be your microphones. or record devices and playback devices. They now call them inputs and outputs, which is actually really nice that they call them that. And then down at the bottom, you have troubleshoot common problems here for your different inputs, output devices. And you can then go and select all sound devices if you want to go there. And you also have volume mixer here, which gives you a bunch of different options. And we'll get to that here in a second. And then more sound settings. And that brings up the legacy UI that everybody is familiar with. This is actually really nice. It's a lot nicer than Windows 10. And it gives you a lot more functionality without having to go into the old control panel. Now, there is one thing you need to know about this main UI here if you have not activated your Windows 11. What Microsoft has now done is they have locked this out so that you cannot change your default playback device, your default input, your default output without going down here to all sound devices and then selecting the specific device that you want to add or make default then go here and set default device and select use as default for audio. That's the only way that you can change that without having to go into the legacy control panel like I showed you before. Now, if you've activated it, then you can see that you can change this all you want to. Uh, so that's one extra thing that they've added that you know they have taken away from you that they didn't do in Windows 10. The second thing that I wanna show you is where you can assign apps to specific audio outputs. Say for instance, like Firefox, you wanna select it to a specific, say audio cable or virtual audio device instead of it going to your default playback. This is really important for things like Wavelink, Voice Meter, and other software mixing devices that are coming out nowadays for your live stream. All right, now to get to where you can add a specific output to an, app here you go to volume mixer and then what you do is these are all of the apps that are currently running on mine let me tell you what let me start up spotify just so that it's recognized and i'll play something turn the music way down so you don't hear anything and so now i have spotify listed click on spotify and here you can go and change the output device now i have this outputting directly to my speakers separate from my default playback which is my capture card likewise if you wanted to uh, say start up a uh, browser you can also go and change the output device there 
just like you have that ability in Windows 10, you have it in Windows 11. It's just a little different on how you get to it. And I actually like this way better than Windows 10. So it's very nice that you can have this. And you, this is very important because a lot of companies are coming out with virtual devices that you can assign to your apps. Uh, Wavelink from Elgato is a big one. Uh, virtual audio cables, if you're a voice meter fan, you can use virtual audio cables or any of the VAIO virtual inputs or outputs that you can assign to your different apps. And those are all being used right now for software mixing for your live streams, which is really nice. So Windows 11 supports that. This is how you do it. It's a lot, I think a lot easier than Windows 10 and it makes a lot more sense. All right, last thing I want to show you is how you can get to the properties for your audio devices and you can add enhancements, you can change sample rate and bit depth, that sort of thing. So to gain access to your device properties, simply just go to your device here and click on the down arrow and then that'll bring you into the properties where you can do your sound test. You could change your bit depth or your sound in your sample rate. You can control the volumes for overall volume in both of your channels. Uh, and you can add your different audio enhancements where you can turn those on and you can go to advanced here and it'll actually bring up the different ones that you're, you've seen before in windows. Also your spatial sound for those that are using like Dolby Atmos, that sort of thing. Uh, this is where you would access that and you can have that set there pretty simple and easy to understand and that's for all of your different devices where you would need to go in and set those things mainly your bit depth and your sample rate are going to be the two things that most people are going to want to know about there well that is it for the video guys i appreciate you supporting the channel i hope you enjoyed this video again hit the like if you like this video uh subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications you'll know when i have a video that goes live and i hope this video kind of rested your mind a little bit when it comes to windows 11 and whether or not you wanted to use an upgrade for your stream pc because audio can be you know bare let's be honest and and i want to try to remove as much confusion as possible so you can make a sound decision. Guys, have a great rest of your week. Be safe out there, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.